In this video, I want to look at how to use the combo box find feature. So I have here a form. There's 630 records. Uh, the uh, idea of uh, going through each record to find the record you want, not the way to do it. If you do know the intake ID, the book does discuss the possibility of opening the find box and typing in the intake ID that you want to find, and it will find it that way. Um, however, if you don't know the intake ID, um, it's quite a long process to go open the participant table, find the name of the participant, uh, and then find the name of the intake and come back and find that record. So I've added two combo boxes here in the form header that'll do a lookup. Uh, first, let's see, let me go back to the first record. Uh, the first one will find based on intake ID. Notice that it's a lot of intake IDs. And um, as you type, it gets in close to that intake ID. And clicking on it will find that record. The second is loaded with participant names. Okay, And as you type, let's find Smith. Let's say we want to go to Jill Smith. So as you type the last name in, it hones in where it's at in the combo box. And then you highlight it and click, and it opens that record. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use, I've started a form for participants. There's like 718 records. And I want to add a combo box lookup. So I'm on my design tab. And here is, I want to, first of all, look, you got to make sure that this is highlighted because the wizard's going to help you write the code. So here's my combo box. And I will drag it. I like to put it in the form header. And you're going to choose this third option that says find a record on my form click on next and then I'm going to always bring the ID field over and then any other fields that you want in the drop down box click on next and it will hide the primary key and there's the other two fields I had selected and I I'm going to call uh, give this label participant lookup and click finish and here it is let's take a look at how this will work by going to the form view so, as I type in um, Smith, okay, as I type in, well, you'll notice that it's in first name, last name order. So, and as I click, I see the first name, not quite what I want. I'm thinking what I want is this to be treated as a whole, you know, last name, comma, space, first name. So not quite working the way I want it to. And you'll find that often wizards will give you a start and then you need to doctor it up a little bit. So here I am on my control. I'm going to come over to the other tab and my control name is Combo71. I'm going to change that name to Combo Participant Lookup. Come over to the Data tab. Now, notice there's no control source. That's why it says Unbound. And I don't want it to have a control source. I'm not updating a record. I'm using this for lookup. And uh, the row source is in the drop-down box, which you're going to see. As I click on the Build button there, you will see that it's just simply a query. Okay. Let me fix that so we can see it a little bit better. And what I need to do is use some string concatenation so that I see that as one field. So I'm going to come to the participant table here in the, and I'm going, to, I'm going to take the last first name out. Last name and comma space and and then click on the first name. And that's what I want to display. So I've built that just like you did in the last chapter. Don't need last name anymore. I'm going to cut that out, and you can test it. And it looks like I better put it in alphabetical order. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I say sort of sending. Okay, and close that. It'll prompt me to save it. And I've looked up, I've updated the row source. Um, a couple other things you want to know about lookups is the bound column is 1. That's the ID. And here it says my column count is 3. Well, it's not. It's 2 now. The reason you don't see the ID is the zero. And now I'm going to change this to 1.5 inches because I made it a little bit wider. And now when I come to the form view, okay, and select one, you notice I can come up here and I can type in Smith. And there comes my Smith record. Okay, the combo box lookups.